Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the Sony PlayStation 3. Okay, here we are. Kilika, how you guys doing? Everything is looking real, real bad. And uh, we're out of here. <laughs> All right, good stuff. We've done everything we needed to do here. You know, we came, we saw, we conquered. Sin conquered. Uh, we went to the temple, this and that. We learned some new things. Uh, we met some new people, you know how it goes, so we've done everything we can, you know, before you leave here, you can go back to the woods, level up, and grind if you want, that's your, that's your call. But other than that, uh, you know, Titus and the gang are off to Luca, and we're gonna be, I don't know, checking out this big Blitzball tournament, it's gonna be crazy, you would think this Luca is a pretty big hotspot then. Uh, but don't worry guys, we're gonna be sending you back some, uh, some money, right? Some relief funds, so, uh, uh yeah, it's... You know, just hang hang around and hold off till, you know, that comes over, I'm sure. You know, let's just have this big celebration in the wake of this horrible disaster. Yeah. Okay, see you later. So we can embark or uh, we can stay. But we're gonna leave. Off to Luca at last. The matches start as soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah? I like how the one Killika fan turns out to say goodbye. Matches start as soon as we get there. Hey man, can we rest up a little bit? Man. Why are we in such a cramped little room just tucked away in the bottom of this ship, you know? It seems more relaxed and nice up there. Like, look, it's just a bunch of people and it's all small and shaking stuff back and forth. It's like, ugh, I don't like it, man. We gotta get out of here. How you doing? Tournament's coming up real soon. I wish I had more time to practice, yeah? Why do we have to be on the same ship as those Lucans anyway? I agree with you, Letty. Why are those Lucans back there? Arr, I hate those Lucans. Those Lucans. We gotta get them. We gotta do something about this. I just want to sneak up behind them and beat them. I mean, I want to get in their faces and show them what we're made of. He's got the right idea. Ugh. Why do I feel like I'm being watched? Those herbs I bought in Kilika for seasickness are working great, ya? Yeah? Well, I suppose we should approach with caution. Looks like our gals are brewing up something back there. I'd be afraid if I were you. All right, and yeah, I got that for kicking the briefcase. Yes. I think it has something to do with the number of times you kick it. I don't know, because... Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't... I've never cared. My, you're kind of cute, too. Want to have some fun? Hey, that boy in the Aurochs is a cutie. What's with the female Luca goers? Like, it's... Man. I don't know what's going on here. I'm out of here. a little too stuffy in there. Oh my, okay. Out of that room and into this room with more familiar faces. Some good, some bad? 
some people can be so rude. Sorry, I mean, you know, there's really not much privacy on the ship. Why don't you just tough it out? I don't think I'm being rude anyway. Oh, Waka, you know what I'm talking about, bro. What are we gonna do about this? They ask a fortune for rags in Beside and Kilika. Well, me business is in shambles. What's a Noaka to do, I ask ye? The mind spotting me some gill again, lad? Oh, I knew it. Fine. So, uh, by now I've given Awaka a lot of gill, and, uh, well, I don't really have to or want to get into it, but, you know, I guess it's kind of like a karma thing. You, you would think if I gave this merchant, you know, some gill now, it would help me later. So, uh, I'm just gonna give him a hundred right now. I've given him plenty already, so I don't have to go crazy, give him a bunch. I'm not gonna give him everything I have. So, just because I'm such a nice guy, no sweat I can lend you on a hundred more gil. I'll make it up to ye, that I will. I'll make it up to ye, that I will. I always love how uh, he says it in two different ways, like one slower, one faster. Alright, and the Crusaders. It might not mean much, but good luck in the tournament. Get up, slacker! Best to let him sleep. Why not? Get the sleep in when you can, man. Oh, so we're gonna go topside now and uh, see what everyone else is doing. Hello, everybody. Hey. <laughs> what is up with this guy? He's got the binoculars again. The funny thing is that this guy is not that same guy from before when Titus stole the binoculars and... Have we seen you before? You look a little familiar. Does he look familiar, folks? Uh, anyway, there's some more goers here. What y'all talking about? Who are you supposed to be? Ah, oh, I remember him. Guy from Kilika. Huh? You know, one of the Besaid Aurochs. Said something about winning the cup. Oh, right. You're that idiot. Don't call him that. But he is an idiot. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. Well, they do now that I'm here. Yes, they will win. He used to be the star player of the Xanarkand Abes. <laughs> yeah, as if anyone lived in those ruins. It's not ruins. There's a big city there. There is. Uh, I, uh, got too close to sin, and... There is a city, really. Right, whatever your ladyship says. <laughs> it's almost, uh like one of those instances where it's uncomfortable and embarrassing and makes you want to cringe like oh I get what you're trying to do but like you're you're creating a big scene I understand but please just stop I feel bad what's wrong you seemed kind of mad back there they were being rude and I do believe your Xanarkand exists. I really do, you know? How come? Sir Jack used to always tell me stories. It'd be great to see your home someday. I'd love to go there. Yeah. So, Yuna, want to come over to my place? Right. Sure. As if I had a place to show her. But of course, you know, the goers are so full of themselves, and they're such asses, especially that Bixen. You know, it kind of hit that Grav, too. Hit that Grav, you know? He, he deserves more hate. He can be maybe even more of a prick than Bixen. 
I feel like Bixen's more like, you know, ugh, I don't know, I just hate them both. Anyway, uh, some of the people are around here. Yuna, you know, thanks for defending me. It was kind of funny to see Titus try and, you know, pull out the old sin excuse again. I do believe your Xanarkand exists. I really do, you know? It just seems so much nicer up here. Can't really see the water. But when you do it, it's pretty calm. Kamari doesn't really say anything. He is the silent guardian. He just shakes his head or moves his arms a little bit. Ah, oh, did you guys overhear that? Uh, is there going to be any gossip tomorrow? I hope not. I do. I, I want there to be gossip. The Aurochs are the team to watch this year. They say they got a blitzer from Xanarkin on their team. Oh, come on. You actually believe that rumor? <laughs> uh, no way. I only meant it'll be fun to watch. Xanarkin, eh? If you're going to bluff at all, say something a little more believable. That guy poking around back there is taking sphere shots of Lady Yuna. Yeah, man, what's going on with this guy? He's so weird. He's squirrely. Squirrely, crazy, nutty. Oh, hello. Came up for air, too, huh? Looks like the dachshund's still getting to you. Now take it easy and go to bed early, huh? We can finally relax now that the goers are down in the cabin. Waka is busy right now. Maybe you shouldn't bother him. I'll bother whoever I want. Let's go see the captain. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this ship over. Oh, hello, book. Hey, Albert Primer, how you doing? Uh-huh. Okay, good stuff. I... You know, I reached the rank of boppity bop, whatever. Who cares? Just give me the books, bruh. We have two summoners and the goers on board. It is my responsibility to carry them safely to their destination. Bah. You're from Xanarkin? Everyone on the ship's been talking about you. You've got the biggest mouth of any blitzer I've ever seen. I don't really like that guy anymore. <laughs> I don't like that guy anymore at all. The gossip is spreading. The rumors are a falion. I'm actually gonna go back down into the cabin. I'm gonna take the opportunity to go back down here, actually. I don't think anyone really says anything different here. Some people can be so rude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I really hate interrupting. Okay, so any anything that's uh, different down here is in this room. Uh-oh, it looks like the girls did brew up something back here. I, I don't know what's going on. This scene's a little creepy. Boda! It, it's terrible. Those Lucans dragged off Keepa. I, I hope I'm next. So, uh, you're cut, Boda. You're cut. You're on the bench. They say you come from the ruins. <laughs> the Aurochs gotta be desperate to depend on some wacko. Yeah, I, uh, I hate this guy too, but man, nowhere near as much as these two right here. Yeah, these two are just, they're the most pompous, arrogant assholes. Yo, Mr. Star Player from Xanarkin. Take it easy on us today. Let's see them moves you've learned in those ruins, then. Yeah, I feel like, uh, they're both arrogant and cocky, but Bigson is more obvious about it, you know, he's more straightforward. Grav, eh, maybe he goes about it a little differently, you know, he doesn't try. Like, he, he just thinks he's hot shit, you know, he doesn't really try to, like, show everyone as much as Bigson. Am I, am I, like reading into this like a, a little bit too much am i going a little bit too overboard here with all this they're just some minor characters in a video game i hate them what you want to hang out with us hmm maybe later now what should we play next help help 
All right, Keepa. I don't. I really don't. What, what are we? I, I'm getting out of here, man. It's scary down here. I'm checking out, man. I'm checking out. So yeah, there is a save sphere down here. Pretty nice to have aboard the ship. It can come in handy for a couple reasons. I do like to save from time to time. I'll show you. Yeah, see? It's fun. Remember the PS2? Remember the memory cards? PS2 memory cards? Oh, man. It's pretty, it's pretty easy to save in this game. You know, nothing too crazy. I like to save spheres. Sometimes, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind a couple more of them. But there's, uh, there's many of them. They're out and about. A lot of empty parts on this ship. Like, no one is up there. I try and get away from all the people, all the crowd. Like, there is a lot of commotion back here. Oh, yes! What are Lulu and Waka up to? Well, say something. You'll take responsibility. Relax, he's bound to know someone in Luca. And if not? He could always join a Blitz team. Anyhow, it's better than just leaving him in Besaid. What? Just leaving him in Luca? What do you want me to do? You know wants to make him a guardian. Oh, yeah, jeez. There's that too, eh? And whose fault is that? Not mine! It is mine, huh? Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. 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 That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean, he's got to decide for himself, yeah? Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right, for once. <clears throat> I wonder which is best. Why don't you tell him he should? Should what? Become Yuna's guardian. Why me? Because Yuna can't. Why not? He hates his father. What he was, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him, I want you to be my guardian, like your father was to mine? Aren't you being oversensitive? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know. It's his decision. He doesn't like his father. Apparently. He told Yuna as much. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about them. I... I was five then. So, I remember mine a little. Damn it! Hmm? Sin just takes everything away from us. Making some uh, pretty big assumptions, Lulu, about Titus and his old man, Jekt. Ah, but then again, I don't blame her. I'm sorry. I need some time to think. Well, you know, still, Lulu, I mean, come on. Those are big assumptions. Go to bed, bud. Tournament starts tomorrow morning. All right, so Waka wants me to go to bed. As usual, he's always told me to go to bed. And Lulu needs some time to think, so then she can say a lot more stuff. Someone's bound to recognize you when they see your moves out there, huh? So that's kind of everything here. I do believe your Xanarkind exists. I really do, you know? Yuna is very, uh, adamant about believing Titus's whole story about Xanarkin. Wonder why that is. You know, that, uh, Titus's Xanarkin is out there. You know, big old city with, you know, busting with activity. Go to bed, bud. Tournament starts tomorrow morning.
So I suppose we should go to bed, but folks, there is actually one last thing we can do here, and it does involve the front of the ship right here. Okay, see this blitz ball? Well, well. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No, no one, one else, else can, can do it. it. I'm, I'm the, the best. best. The Jack Shot Challenge. Memories of that day still haunt Titus and interfere with his concentration. Try to shake off the memories and successfully perform the jack shot oh man how about that flashback i was kind of thinking uh while watching i'm not sure if i prefer the like the added effects uh that they put in there whenever you have like flashback sequences or dream type sequences i totally get what they're trying to do and i think yeah that's that's great and all but i feel like it's um it's too heavy it's too much you know there's just too much going on and uh, kind of gets in the way a little bit. But anyway, folks, uh, enough of that. Let's just talk about the Jack Shot Challenge. Uh, basically, Titus uh, can successfully perform this shot or he can fail it depending on me, the, the game player, the any game player. Uh, I'm gonna try and do this right and successfully so it can actually help me in the upcoming uh, Blitzball Tournament. That's what this is pretty much all about. And I can talk a little more. I'll do that after uh, the scene's done. Okay, good stuff. So here we go. Alright, so it's just gonna tell us how to, you know, do things for this little, uh... It's almost like a tutorial. For example, when a memory appears, I use that term loosely, by the way. Uh, you hit up and left and then the X button. Okay, good stuff. You don't have to do it now. You're just supposed to read what to do here. This is not the, uh, the practice run right here. So, uh, okay, yeah, I get it. You press X in the part of the screen. So let's try practicing a little. Press the buttons, follow the on-screen instructions. Alright, so, uh, it's up, right, and X button at the same time. And so on. There you go. Alright, there you go, down here. Okay, did you get the hang of it? Now for the real thing. Man, I remember the first time this happened kind of when I was playing this game, I was like, what the hell, what are they talking about, a memory? And then stuff started happening, well, I didn't, I didn't do it. Took me like a couple attempts, okay. Hopefully I'm not rusty here, I'm getting, I'm loosening up here, all right, let's go. Show Jack what you can do, let's do this thing. You can't do it, you're out of your lead, you're out of your lead, you can't do it, you're out of your lead. <laughs> no one else can. Best. No one else can. Do you can't. It. Do, you no can't do it, do it, kid. <laughs> the best. Yeah, right. Huh? Whoa! What's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? Hmm. 
Well, there you go. Good job. At the end there, I thought I wasn't hitting, uh, what, down and left X button and then up, left X button, whatever. I thought I didn't get that in in time. I was actually kind of wondering there, is he going to be okay? Is he going to be able to pull off this shot? And I was like, oh, okay, I did it. I won't have to, I won't have to do another uh, take of this part. Good stuff. Are uh, you wondering why I saved a little while ago? That was the reason, but no need for it. Good stuff. Anyway, I really remember like everything about this scene. All right, had I not been successful with that shot, uh, the ball would have come down, it would have hit Titus on the head, he would have went, Rrr! and then uh, what would have happened? Uh, the ball, did the ball roll over to Yuna and she was kind of like laughing and then she goes to Titus. Uh, that was a jack shot you tried to do, wasn't it? And Titus is like, how'd you know that? And then the scene just carries on, same old, same old. I believe Waka actually says uh, one different line. He says, uh, hey, it's time for bed there, kiddos. And uh, I don't know, something like that. That's pretty much it. And I think there might have been another different line here or there. I don't know. Anyway, the Aurochs are, uh, the or I don't even know what the Aurochs are doing. Let's talk to them real quick. I knew it! I knew you were something special! He probably says something different there, too, but I can't remember. Is Dotto alright? It's right before the big game and all. That was one amazing shot you just did. They don't call you an ace for nothing. I'm gonna tell Boda and Keepa all about the shot you just did. They'll be so mad when they find out what they missed. I'm glad the goers weren't here to see it. Let's keep it a secret until the finals. I feel a little nervous with Lady Yuna watching us, yeah? Dado can jump, man. Jeez. I can't even talk to him when he's doing this jump. Hey. Hey. Ah! I I hurt my back. Yeah, that's, that's a good job right before we get there, right? I hate players who are selfish like that. I knew it! I knew you were something special! You gotta rest and recuperate, man! You gotta just take it easy! You can't be exerting yourself like that, man! And once again, we're getting there like right before the matches start. Usually, teams would fly in, or in our case, boat in, a couple days at least before such a big tournament, I'd imagine. Alright, so Yoon is there. She obviously wants to talk to us about something. I think you can... I don't know if you can just pass up the whole scene. You should go rest. You're gonna drown during the match if you're sleep deprived. The Oryx are getting too hyped up before the match. Kamara, you're here alone, bruh! He puts his arms down. And then he shakes his head. That's all that happens when you, like, try and... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Wow, you can actually make... You can speed it up. Look at that. Arms up, arms down. Shake head. Left, right, left, right. Huh. Oh, my God. I never knew that ever happened. Wow. I mean, you might think I'm crazy. I mean, it's... It's really nothing, but... It's kind of funny. I've never seen that happen before. I've literally never seen that happen before in all my attempts. Such a small little extra thing. I was confused when Titus automatically centered himself. Eh? Yep. You know what? That makes up for uh, uh, the little run-in at the uh, inside the temple when uh, Kamari pushes Titus back and I, I missed it because uh, I accidentally went back too far. That just made up for it, folks. I never saw that before, and I wonder if all of you have ever seen that. That was the Jekt shot, wasn't it? Uh How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jekt showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jekt Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? 
My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was gonna happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. The stage is set, folks. You can just you can just feel like the momentum and the tension and and just the craziness building, building, building for this place. Being at Luca, you can just tell that like crazy, awesome stuff is about to happen. It's all kind of leading up to this. It's not like this is gonna be the end or anything, but I just feel like the first big, huge event is about to take place in this game. I mean, we kind of had our opening. Ever since then, we've been going from little place to little place, trying to understand what the hell's been going on. And now you just you just think like a crazy showdown of like epic proportions is about to happen here in Luca. And it's gonna be crazy. And I'm gonna save my game and we're gonna get to Luca. But right now, I'm actually gonna call it a wrap. We're gonna have to wait till the next time, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments and tell me what you think. I'm David the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.